Well, fans got to see him grow up on screens on the series Blackish <laughs> and Grownish, and his latest role takes quite a departure from those comedies. Take a look. Are we in trouble, sir? What are you doing in there? Homework. You guys are going to school? Yes, sir. Oh, that is a peak of the upcoming film, How I Learned to Fly. And starring in the drama is a very familiar face, actor Marcus Scribner. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. First of all, you make me feel old because I mean, <laughs> both of us have been watching you since you were just a little tiny little kid oh, and, yeah. and you made us laugh and now you're taking a, a more serious role. So tell us a little bit about this story. Um, you and your brothers in this film, mm -hmm. the, the, the actor who plays your brother, you take on a life of your own. So can, tell, tell us about the film. Uh, yeah, and, and How I Learned to Fly, which I, I got a chance to executive produce for the first time, which I'm very excited about, um, is the story of, of two brothers who are kind of left on their own and homeless and learning to take care of each other um, and learning what the true value of that relationship is. And me as the older brother having to step up um, and be sort of a parent and raise my younger brother. It, it's sort of in the vein of pursuit of happiness and is a very exciting role to take on and, and produce. Yeah, I mean, talk about stepping up as the older brother. I mean, the drama in this is a big departure from the comedy that we're used to seeing you with. Yeah, yeah, very big departure. It, it's crazy because growing up with um, all, all of my training, in improv and all of the acting classes I used to go to were both comedy and drama. So booking Blackish for the first time was a big twist for me. Um, and I really leaned into the comedy. Um, and now I'm like sort of going back to my roots and getting to, to delve into more dramatic pieces. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun, fun with those. And, and taking on the role of Daniel was definitely a challenge. Yeah. I'll say that. Do you have siblings of your own? I do. I have a younger sister. Um, she teaches me more than I teach her, though, so it's a little <laughs> bit uh, of a different dynamic. Um, but but then yeah. you don't have a brother, so what was that like, and what was your relationship on on them? Yeah, the it was it was a new experience. My parents actually did j just have a baby who's about to turn a year oh, old, named Adonis. Oh, oh um, and so I do now have a younger brother, but at the time of filming, I did not. Uh, and, and bonding with Lonnie and, and discovering what an excellent human being and fantastic actor he was uh, kind of, I think, prepared me for my brother role in real life. It was, it was a nice oh, little that's moment. that's awesome. What, what's the relationship between the brothers in this story? Um, I think Daniel, at first, uh, who's the character I play, tries to assume the role of the parent, um, tries to um, teach Eli, his younger brother, you know, the ways of life. He he write down he writes down a set of rules that he um, sort of tapes to the ceiling. So that way, each day that Eli wakes up, he sees those rules, and it's kind of communicated what's expected of him. Um, but Eli is mute uh, after the trauma that's kind of you know taken their family. Um, and I think Daniel learns that that form of communication and. Uh, trying to overbear him with love and, and, and teaching is kind of not, not the right way to go about it because he, he'll never be able to replace their parents. Um, and so they sort of take on a, a symbiotic relationship and they teach each other new things and mm. they just try to support each other with love and, and, and use that relationship to get them through the very, very difficult time that they go through. Wow, what a beautiful story. Yeah. You know, it's been, again, like we've been saying, it's been so much fun watching you grow up now you've gone from comedy to this serious role. What's next for you? I mean, you're now living in New York. Any chance you yeah. might consider hitting the stage of Broadway? Um, I would love to give it a try. <laughs> I'd also love to do, you know, just some traditional theater as well. Yeah. Um, some stage work would be a lot of fun. I guess I have to learn how to sing and dance. I was thinking about picking up a guitar, but I don't know how applicable oh, wow. that will be. So. We'll see. Uh, you can watch some of the street performers in New York. They can give you, exactly. they can give you some pointers. <laughs> exactly. All right, Marcus, thank you so much for being with us. I'm sorry we ran out of time, uh, but it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Had a great time. All right, best of luck with the movie. Thank you. How I Learned to Fly opens in theaters tomorrow. Make sure you check it out.